Hi there, my name is Aaron Short and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you may know, I use the Line 6 Helix um, family of products. I've got the, the native plugin, the floor pedal board and the HX stomp. And uh, these videos are going to show you some things that I've learned um, over the years now. <laughs> been a long time. The first um, tip I'm going to talk, talk to you about is gain staging. Now I've come to realize this is very important. So uh, a first tip I'm going to show you actually here on the screen. This is something that I was told by Line 6 themselves. Now, now first of all, you do, depending on which device you're using, the Stomp or the Helix Floor, etc., you do want to make sure it's set up correctly. You do want to go into your global settings. So I'll just show you on the floor here. Press this to get the global settings here. This one. And then, see my pad is off because I'm using single coil pickups. That's, that's read out as reference. And my XLR8, which I'm using, is set to line. I find that to be optimal. So that does depend on what you're using. Okay, I'll get to some more of that later, but that's a very important thing, and that's um, you, you should really read the manual for that stuff, right? But um, what I find is, as you add blocks, and this is very important. Let's say I'm adding an amplifier block. So right now, there's nothing on the path. Okay, and the guitar sounds like this. That's just the sound of the guitar. And the output volume of the unit is on maximum because I'm using the floor right now. Now, if I add an amp and cab, let's just add a, let's just add the US double norm, for example. Okay, this is what happens when you load it up. Now, what I like to do, and what you should do, is turn this off, turn the block off, play it again. Is it the same volume? Yeah, it seems to be. See, the danger is if you crank this up here and crank it up here and turn up the drive and it gets really loud, if it gets much louder than your bypass signal, then you, you might risk digitally clipping, digital clipping. And there's no indicators on the Helix software to tell us that. So it's very important that you, you're wary of that. And even with, the, even with other effects like delay and other, I mean, obviously not with the volume boost because that's the whole point of the volume boost. But any effect you add, it's very important to um, AB them. So for example, with the amp, I'll use the channel volume to match it to the bypassed volume. Okay. And then if I add a delay, for example, one problem with the vintage, vintage digital delay can be that it uh, clips. So that's fine, right? But you'll see if I turn this up, on the channel volume, on the amp, it hits it too hard. Ah, you hear that? It was, it was uh, breaking up, it was nasty. It wasn't nice distortion, it was digital clipping, and that's why you want to avoid. It's nasty. So again, if I bring this down and play the same, it's not there anymore. So there's your prime example. It's very important to set the levels of the blocks so they're not um, going into digital distortion. Okay, and on a side note to that, if you're using the Helix native plugin, this I found, found this to be a real game changer for me. If I plug this guitar straight into my audio interface, I was actually turning up the gain on my interface so it would go on the very hardest strum, it would go just into the orange. Well, it turns out you shouldn't do that. The Helix native software that you use in, in your door, I, I, I use Logic, that actually wants to see um, a line level, and the line level on my in interface is zero. So I realized I should be leaving, I should plug in the guitar cable from the guitar into my interface and leave it at zero gain. I shouldn't add any gain. When I did that, everything sounded so much better. So again, depending on the device you're using, you wanna be wary of this thing, all right? If you're using the floor, like I just said, make sure that you have um, the global settings set correctly, and please read the manual for that, or ask me some questions here if you're not sure, because there's a lot of there's a lot, many things I could talk about with that take a long time. But the, the, the things I showed you at the beginning of the video were mainly those uh, those things. Make sure your blocks aren't pushing the level all the time. Make sure your signal is the same as it would be bypassed. Very important. Um, and then when you come out of the unit, if you're going into a real amp, 
then make sure your, your, the big master volume wheel is on maximum all the way up and make sure that the line out setting on global settings is set to instrument because we're trying to recreate an instrument going into an amp, right? So do that. And if you're going into a PA or a speaker, put it on all the way up, put it on to line out because we're going into a mixer or a PA speaker. So these little things, they really made a difference to my tone because I was getting some nasty tones. Like with that delay, I was like, oh, it's nasty. And that was happening with everything. That really fixed it. So that's gain staging. Um, try that with your patches. Try to go through your patches and, and level them out the way I told you. See if it makes a difference. And if it works for you, please let me know. And if there's anything I missed, please let me know. I'll do another video. All right. So happy rocking. Keep playing. Stay tuned.